man uh the the vibe is consistent with what we've talked about i mean oh wow a fidenza literally just sold um i was gonna say outside of squiggles which we'll we'll hit on really nothing was peaking 40 eth in volume so it just it's it feels slow it feels um uh it feels a little bit quiet out there and actually not to be depressing. It's actually awesome. And I'll hit on it. My, some of my sentiment in the squiggles update, but it, it, a lot of stuff is coming to market that hadn't been available previously. If you're a long-term, I feel like a broken record here, but if you're a long-term believer in the space, uh, I think there's a lot of opportunity. It's wheat season for sure in generative art. And I think you're starting to see people, get really really good pieces that should age well so slow slow as slow could be um the highlights are going to be kind of sad this week but overall i'm bullish on the space and the other thing i'm trying to remind myself is you know bright moments tokyo was going on there's a lot of uh you know players that were maybe distracted this week um so maybe maybe that's the i'm gonna blame that for the time being yeah, I, I would only add, uh, gas is really high. People are trading meme coins like crazy. That's died down. There's some euphoria around that because people are finally making money, but we're just really trading money amongst ourselves. And until Bitcoin sustains over 30,000, potentially higher, I don't think we're going to see a ton of movement in anything, art or otherwise. So I agree. Things have been quiet, but there are some good deals, which is a great segue into blue chip gen art as shown on screen. We're not going to go through the numbers. Thanks for watching Collector's Corner Shorts. Check out the full video on our YouTube channel shown here.